what that other rep design did, whether they actually did that or not. Yeah. But, okay, that's a detail, important detail to go down pretty soon. Okay, so this is the image capture of uh, one of our tests. So what we did was we had a 50 gram weight placed on the load cell, and then we started to uh, acquire our data. Midway through acquiring the data, we removed the, load, we removed the weight and just let the capture complete. What you'll notice is that with that setup we had, our signal was, our loaded signal was about 2.17 volts, very steady, and it's actually a very clean transition compared to some of our other tests and different setups. But our unloaded uh, cell is actually quite noisy, but when we are field testing, we won't actually have a fully unloaded load cell because we'll have actually equipment like tubing on it. Yes. Okay, so this is just a quick system overview. Our load cell is feeding into our PSOC 5, which is amplifying the signal. That will feed into the A to D. That will feed into the A to D, which we then feed back into our PSOC 5 to export to a SD card as requested by Professor Williams. And as well, we're also exporting that PSOC 5 data simultaneously onto a PSOC 4 BLE, and then that will be export to it, our app. So the timer is basically uh, a real-time clock. I'm sorry? You had a timer there in your block. Could you just go back? How do you have timer? That's the real-time clock? Uh, That's for the what? For the what? Sorry? So the timer is for uh, the, if there's no Bs on the scale for a certain amount of time, to just turn the scale off. Oh, okay. Or so to go. Trips. Yeah. Okay. okay, okay. And this is just a quick communication scheme uh, detailing what I stated previously. Okay, so this is the power diagram. We plan to plug this into the wall, but in case that. Uh, Professor Williams and the Department of Etymology want to do a more mobile application of this. We also planned for a small battery to be attached to it. Uh, have you performed power calculations? Yes. It's later on. If you slides, guys right? have the battery, use it to your advantage. Go from mains to battery and then regulate down, and then you get a cleaner slide too. Okay. Uh, okay, so we actually have our uh, battery being regulated to three volts just to power both our PSOC uh, chips, as well as being stepped up to feed a 10 volt, excita 10 volt excitation to our load cell, as well as to power on our ADD. Be very careful doing that, okay, because you, you gain a factor of two, but you may gain more in your noise <laughs> if your step up regulator is not very good. Okay, so. That you should do very critically. It sounds a great idea to use a high excitation voltage, but your gain is only by a factor of two. If you lose in your noise, but more than that, back. You will be moving back. Yeah. Be careful. Some of it will be, it will come down to testing because they recommend yeah. the 10 over the 5. Okay. <laughs> and this is our very simple state diagram, which has just the uh, constant measures phase as well as a standby in case there are no bees. We need to move on to the other teams too so everybody can start. So can up. Yep. Right. So this is the power calculation that we have for now. We have the PSOC we have the PSOC chips, the voltage regulator, and our external ADC that we've been testing with. And we've come with a power of 165.9 milliwatts. And this is not um, accounting for the external battery. I was, we were thinking about it being plugged into. You guys need to get a regulated power key valve other than water valve. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a software application in the works. So what we plan to do is through the PSOC 4 BLE, um, you interface with your phone where you connect. And then once you connect, you can uh, calibrate the scale and collect uh, the data that you retrieve from the load cell. Um, this is a rough estimate of all of our costs. And uh, we broke it down in a pie chart. 
talk about the game chart. Um, <laughs> uh, Alright. Are you guys on the back or not? <laughs> yes, no. When you did the compass that you focus in on the kid on track? Well, the testing took up uh, more time than we I know things take a lot of time. Where are you behind? I said hardware is uh, further behind. The hardware is further behind because testing was behind. Okay, what are you going to do to catch up? Uh, Don't tell me to work hard, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> no, so we're going to have, uh, we have a board made up in Eagle. I'm just going to make a few modifications, send out a new one. We'll have it within a week or two if I can get this fast shipping. Okay. Uh, do we need to go through all this? Or? Okay. Uh, acknowledgements. Uh, that's Professor Neil Williams uh, and Dr. Rosemary Malfi. They're the ones that uh, came up with this project. And then uh, thank yous, Texas Instrument Cypress. Of course, T's and Professor Cook. Okay, so, um, yeah, I don't want to thank you. <laughs> 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 so, important, they're also interacting with the mechanical team that's taking care.